Hey guys, it's Lisi. My ink box tattoo came yesterday. I'm tired, it's 10 a.m. and my hair do be kind of whack. This is, the, this is the package. It says here for now. And I think it says that because their motto is tattoos for now, I think. So this is what's inside of it. It says ink box. And then it says water resistant, lasts one to two weeks, cruelty free, and developed in 24 hours. On the website it says it develops in 24 to 36 hours. Your kit contains a primer wipe and a tattoo for now ink, which is the tattoo I ordered. So when you open it up, it says change is good. And then when you take it out of the package, I'm going to take this yellow thing out first. It says follow along with video. Application time is 1 to 2 minutes, leave on for 60 minutes, tattoo will darken in 24 to 36 hours, your tattoo will last 1 to 2 weeks, and it has a tattoo longevity or I think that's how you pronounce it, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm going to be putting it on my bicep and it has forearm, hand, thigh, calf, ankle, but I want to put it on my bicep. It says that for the bicep it will have a fresh look for up to 7 days and then it will have a faded look after like the eighth day so yeah and on the back it has all the steps this is the primer wipe it says this wipe helps smooth and hydrate your skin ensuring optimal tattoo application. So we have the actual tattoo, if you can see it, because of my light. And the light is harsh because I can't find my little umbrella thing that goes with it. It looks like light blue, but that's how it's supposed to look. It's going to look darker once you put it on after like 24 to 36 hours. So this is the tattoo which says spread jam, not germs, because, you know, perfect for the times that we are in. Okay, I moved where I was a little bit so like I could have a mirror right here while I do it. And I moved again because I completely forgot I wanted to do it on the other side. I'm going to film this and hope that it doesn't go out of focus. I've already watched the video a billion times so if I do forget, then oh well. It says step one, prep skin with primer wipe. Exfoliate area with primer wipe for 30 seconds. Wait 30 seconds for area to dry. This is the primer wipe, if I can open it, okay, there you go. And you're supposed to rub it on the area for 30 seconds and then wait for it to dry for 30 seconds. Step two, apply tattoo, peel off tattoo backing. So I'm going to open it up. Okay, this is the tattoo backing. It says peel off only this side, so I am. It looks really sticky. It's so weird, but now I am going to put it on my arm and press it down. Make sure there are no wrinkles because why do we want that? It might have been a little bit crooked. I probably should have done it this way more, but uh, it's okay. So next it says to peel off tattoo border if I can get it off. You know, now would have been a good time to watch the video, honestly. I'm gonna keep on the tattoo border. One hour later. I'm going to take it off now. And we'll see. It kind of stings, honestly. Oh my gosh, I'm tired of doing this. Ah, should I just get it off quickly? Yeah. Okay, so now because it was wrinkled, it's like weird how it looks on my skin. My skin looks wrinkled now. But like it said, it's going to be a light blue or green color because it needs 24 to 36 hours to develop so this is not the end of the video this is just me doing it and in 24 to 36 hours i will update you on how it looks seven hours later it's been seven hours this is what it looks like it's noticeably darker but it's only been seven hours so i'm not expecting much but it is noticeable now and you can tell what it says more so yeah many hours later i'm gonna go ahead and quickly film my update my camera is about to die literally so here's what it looks like it's definitely more noticeable it's a dark bluish green color and it probably will get darker i did it at about 11 o'clock yesterday and it is one o'clock right now the next day 
and I'll do a week update to show you guys how it fades and everything. Okay, this is what the fade looks like. It's a week later, and yeah, it has faded a lot actually. And I didn't even notice. It doesn't. It doesn't feel like it's been a week, but maybe that's just quarantine time. So that is the end of this video. You can check out my Instagram and my TikTok. And don't forget to like and subscribe down below. I'll see you in the next video.